Good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am a homeschooling mom of three. And if you are returning, I say to you, welcome back. And today we are going to be doing some cleaning and I have to prep for my freezer meals. I just recently started doing freezer meals and they've been working out really well. But um, something that I've learned with freezer meals is before you get started, you should definitely have a nice clean kitchen and I don't. So <laughs> I have to clean up my kitchen and so that I can start my plant, my freezer meals for this afternoon. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'll probably start with the dishes and I'll go from there. <laughs> almost done with the kitchen and we had a nice coating of snow outside it's almost time for us to start school so I'm gonna have to put a pause on what I'm doing right now and just I think I should be able to get back maybe a little bit after lunch to get to um, finishing up the kitchen so that I can start my freezer meals if I don't if I don't start the freezer meals today I'm not going to be able to start it until Friday and so I'm really trying to get everything situated so that I can start but I know that if I were to start 
doing everything before I have everything organized, it just, it can go out of control so quickly. And like I said, this is, I'm at the beginning stages of learning how to do freezer meals. And so I really try to stick to um, a really good routine because the first time I did my freezer meals, I noticed that it was so easy for me to do it because I did do the, the thorough cleaning and organizing before I started. And so it was, it didn't become chaotic, but then I definitely saw how it could become chaotic very, very, very quickly. But anyway, I'm just going to start school now. Actually, I have to give my baby um, breakfast because he just woke up. So, and then we're going to start school. My daughter already started school and um, she's pretty independent. She has, she was working down here and then she went upstairs. So I guess that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll update you when I finish doing my prep work for my freezer meals. And if you have any suggestions that work out for you for your freezer meals, I would really appreciate it because I really love the effect of having the freezer meals because it makes everything so much easier. But at the same time, the prepping for it and setting aside time for it is, that's a bit of a challenge because I don't have a full day to dedicate to just cooking. But if I do, it it really would it would pay off because it really helps when you have everything already prepped and just about done. It's like a TV dinner that you made with everything that you need in it. And it's wonderful because it's really fast once you're all prepped up. <laughs> okay, so I'll talk to you guys again soon. <laughs> Come on, why are you turning your back? <laughs> to get my husband in this shot and he keeps turning <laughs> it's a good thing babe come on <laughs> anyway we just finished doing our science class and I'm trying to get back to prepping in the kitchen and I have awesome help the best help ever <laughs> my friend is in here my friend my boyfriend is in here. No, not my boyfriend. That's my husband. <laughs> well, he is my boyfriend, right? That's right. He is in here and he is helping me so I can get ready. Not helping me. He's helping his family. That's what he does. He's taking care of his family. So we are prepping, still cleaning so that I can start my freezer meals. Today is a really, really hectic day for us. And so... We're working on this together. The kids are doing the in the, their independent work right now, so it's working out for them for right now to be a time for us to go and just um, finish doing some cleanup so that I can get some prep work done. And hopefully this um, the prepping to start doing my freezer meals, I have to have everything right, and so it can be so difficult. Can we see him now? Now his back is completely there. <laughs> he keeps turning. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm still on the journey. <laughs> okay. So I am going to show you some of the things that I use for storage when it comes to um, my freezer meals. So these are containers that I got from Michael's and these are used to house things that I put in the freezer. Like if I'm marinating something, I will put it into a plastic bag and then into one of these containers and tag it with some masking tape just so that my children do not go into the refrigerator trying to figure out what's inside the container and then end up getting something some kind of raw meat on their hands I don't want that to happen and then I also have this set of bowls that I'm going to use for mixing and everything else I have this pampered chef glass bowl it's a measuring bowl and it has a lid to it I've had this for the entire time that we've been married I believe it was about two years no good grief three months after we got married I went to a pampered chef party and I got this bowl and I absolutely love it and then I have these bowls that I recently got from the Dollar Tree I have four of each of these I really like these and then I have my mixing bowl that goes to my stand mixer and I think that's all I'll need for today I am only making breakfast burritos today because I think it will be too overwhelming for me to make anything else for today so I also got out 
some plastic bags and I got all of these from the Dollar Tree. These are their five count Shore Fresh two and a half gallon bag just to show you the size on these. This is how big they are. And what I'll do with my breakfast burritos, I will wrap them individually in wax paper and then I will take the masking tape, wherever I put that, here it is, the masking tape and seal it off and just write on there whatever is in each burrito because they'll all be a little bit different. And then I will put this into the freezer and then it will go into one of these containers. The only thing about these containers that I don't like, they look so pretty when they're in the refrigerator and freezer, but the, in the freezer they will crack if you handle them too roughly. And that's a problem. But for right now that's what I have and so that's what I'm going to use. And I also have the Glade freezer bags. This is a seven count. And then I have, this is a gallon size, this is a gallon size, this has 15. I am familiar with the Glade products and so I use these right here, but then this one had 15, so I said I would give it a try. Then I also have the Shore Fresh 50 sack count of the sandwich bags. This is a good size and again from the dollar store. And then I have this roll of freezer bags that come from, oh, they belong to my seal in store machine. So I'll be able to suck all the air out of whatever I put into these and then just uh, seal it off from, with the machine. And that's it. I will not be able to show you while I'm cooking simply because it's gonna be a little overwhelming to do that. But as you can see, my husband is back here. He's already started all of the prep work. It's a lot of the um, cooking for what I'm doing. And I am going to finish off on another aspect of it. I'll get my electric griddle, griddles and put them out here and I will work on this side and he'll have over there to do whatever he's doing. And um, I think that's it. So I'll show you everything once I'm done. So I finished the first round of the breakfast burritos and we have a, a nice little assortment. This is what they look like. They're in the container that they're going to be stored in in the freezer. Now my husband is going to go and get me some more wraps of the gluten-free wraps that we use because I ran out. I thought I had enough to do what I wanted to do, but I really don't. I didn't have nearly enough for what I need to do. So in the end, I will probably have between two and three of these containers filled with the breakfast burritos. So I'm happy and this little break in between is actually good. So I'm not upset about that at all. So I think that's about it. Um, we just have the different varieties. We'll freeze them and we should have enough to get us through at least three weeks. And I would be happy if it lasts for three weeks to a month. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching with me. And if you have any suggestions on anything that I can do to make my freezer meals go more smoothly, please let me know. I do know that I will definitely be doing my labels and the cutting of my uh, my uh, wax paper ahead of time because if I cut it ahead of time, it will be a lot easier and more smooth for me to go through everything. I did have my daughter come and help me with the labeling and that made it a lot easier. So I will definitely do that ahead of time. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you again soon.